The death toll is soaring after a huge suicide explosion rocked Kabul's diplomatic quarter just a few hours ago. From an Afghan official, we're told that the blast has taken at least 80 lives. 300 more are injured. Many of those are very serious injuries, meaning the death toll may rise. You see the smoke plume there, emergency vehicles speeding toward it. The explosion happening during the morning rush. People were heading to work. So diplomats from Germany's embassy in Kabul are among the injured. Jessica Donati covers Afghanistan for the Wall Street Journal. She joins us now live from Kabul. Jessica, we're happy that you are okay. What happened this morning? Uh, well, around the time of uh, rush hour, when uh, a lot of Afghan uh, civilians were going to work at the foreign embassies and uh, at the U.S. military headquarters, were on their way to work when um, uh, we think it's a truck bomb uh, detonated at the entrance to uh, a fortified part of the city uh, that's known as the Green Zone. You were in the shower, I understand, when this happened. Can you just describe what you heard and saw? Yes, well, uh, I, I was really lucky because um, all our windows were blown in and the front of the house was damaged. Um, but uh, I had left my room five minutes previously and I was in the shower and uh, the house shook and uh, there was some dust and stuff. But the shower doesn't have any windows, so um, I was in a good, good position. So this obviously is a targeted bombing. The diplomatic quarter is a place of sensitivity. You have so many different international interests there. Uh, what do you make of this choice and this extent? of damage. Sorry, could you repeat that? There was just a helicopter overhead. Sorry. The diplomatic quarter obviously is a target of opportunity. Uh, what do you make of the intentions here? Uh, well, I think, I mean, the, the main intention is to get um, big headlines. And if you detonate such a large bomb uh, right in the middle of town, and uh, in this case, they cause damage to a number of emb embassies, including uh, the German embassy, which was right next to the blast. Uh, they cause, uh, wide, you know, worldwide headlines, and that gets uh, attention, and it makes uh, the insurgent group look powerful, and it makes the situation in Kabul look extremely insecure.